So we come to another turn in our journey moving out of lockdown. Just as we're beginning to feel a bit more established, just as we begin to settle into new rhythms and routines, just as at the church we begin to plan some events which will be safely held, so there is another announcement, another set of regulations. Understandably, as the number of cases rise, so we need to take some steps to try and reduce the risk of the infection spreading further. But that comes with a level of uncertainty, a lack of clarity as to what the implications are of those regulations for so many aspects of our life. How will the new guidance on a maximum of six gathering together socially affect us as a church community? How will it affect choir practices? How will it affect us in our daily lives? How will it affect those who live and work around us? As at this time, all of that is still uncertain. All of that is unknown. And we return to that place where the ground shifts and where the future seems not quite as clear as it did the day before. It seems a common misunderstanding that somehow people of faith aren't affected by these things. But if we have faith, then our lives are richly blessed and all is well. I'm not sure that's my experience. I'm not sure that's the experience I witness in the faith community around me. We experience the same as everybody else. We have days of joy and days of sadness, days of hope as well as days of fear, days when all seems well and other days when all seems very uncertain and insecure. What changes for us is how we face those days, how we see those twists and turns as part of a much bigger picture, as part of a bigger understanding of the way that our lives are leading us to God, but are also being shared with God. We are reassured in the gospel we'll hear at Mass today that those who walk with Christ, that those who place him at the heart of their lives, will secure happiness. Not a temporary passing moment of joy, not a passing temporary moment of well-being, but a sense of peace, a well-being that lasts in the kingdom of heaven. We face these uncertainties, we face the twists and the turns, we face the ups and the downs, confident that Christ is with us, confident that he shares that daily journey and he walks with us whichever route our path will take. So as we enter once more into a period of uncertainty, once more we wait to see where we go next, then let us be still. Let us just pause and step back from the immediate, from the instant, from the noise and the rush around us, and become aware of Christ and pray that he may reassure us with his presence and that we may know that he will guide us and lead us eventually to that place where we will be with him in peace and hope and joy forever.